Alright, what's going on people? Today we're gonna talk about Akhmadaliev. To me, he's a very he's a smaller version of Lomachenko, very similar in the footwork and very similar in style too. We're gonna talk about him today and let's get right into it. Now the first thing that I want to point out when it comes to Akhmadaliev is his ability to exit always on the back foot. Now let me show you guys an example of that so that you guys won't get confused. So as you can see here, he's gonna throw a one, two, three, and he's gonna put his weight on the back foot when he throws the hook. He doesn't stay on the front foot. And what that enables him to do here is it enables him to skip or to exit safely after he throws these punches, okay? So two, three, pam. The referee kind of blocked that angle, but let's look at another one, okay? Two, three, again, put his weight on the back foot here. And again, by pushing off of this back leg, it's much easier for you to step out. It's much easier for you to step back, as you can see here. So after he throws the hook right there, it's very easy for him to move away and exit safely. So here, he's gonna step back or move back. And then he puts all his weight on that back leg once again, as you can see, very similar to how Lomachenko or how Uzik moves. And then he takes that L step, moving over to the right side as he is moving back. So watch it for yourself again. Puts all the weight on that left leg and takes that L step right there. Second thing I want to talk about is the signature Manny Pacquiao move. It's a 2-1 with a gazelle. So he's going to start off with a left cross right here. And then he's going to throw a half hook, half jab, which is what Manny Pacquiao used to knock down Keith Thurman. So again, start off with a reaching left hand. Pam, when he throws that left hand, he puts his weight on the front foot. How do you know that? His head right here is way past his right knee, okay? So that's how you know that all your weight is on the front leg. And as you can see here, his rear leg is almost off of the ground. It's only the toes that are in the ground. So when he throws his left hand here, his toes is on the, his toes is the only one that's on the ground. So look at his rear leg there. So he's forced to take that gazelle step to regain his balance. And while he does that, he throws a right hook slash a right jab as he closes the distance, okay? Now here's the next one. He's gonna start off with a left hand again, reach out or reach in with the left hand. Bam. And then he sees that Daniel Roman is, Daniel Roman's lead hand is right here on his left shoulder. So what, did that, what does that mean? That means that he can sneak in this right hand here on the side of the face of Daniel Roman. So look at this right here. After he throws the two, the lead hand or the lead arm of Daniel Roman is completely stretched out. So that enabled him to throw that left hand right there. So look at it once again. Stretching out that lead hand, boom, open up the left side of the face of Daniel Roman. Look at that one last time here. And you'll see how he does it. S start off with the left hand, and then sneak in that right jab slash hook on Daniel Roman's face. Here's the next one, okay? So here's a little bit further away, so he had to reach in a little bit more. And again, as a coping mechanism here, his head is way past his right knee, as you can see. So instead, what he does to regain his balance, boom, he takes that gazelle step. And as he takes that gazelle step, he also throws a right hand. Bam. Follows through with that jab and then pivots away. Now we're going to talk about the rapid weight shifting of Akhmadaliyev, one thing that he's really good at. And let me explain how he does it so beautifully. Now, the best way to shift your weight, or the fastest way to shift your weight, is by putting all of the weight on one leg first and then using that force in order to transfer the weight over to the other leg. It's gonna start off completely on the front leg. Bam. To the point where his back leg is almost off of the ground, okay? His back leg or his back foot is almost off the ground. And what this enables him to do is it enables him to push off of this front leg and then step back right away, quickly shift his weight from the front leg to the back leg. Another example here, Again, he starts off very heavy on, let's see which foot he's heavy in. Very heavy on the front foot to the point where his rear foot is almost off of the ground. And on the second one, it's his lead leg now that's off the ground. So that in that case, his weight is now all on the back foot. 
and from there he's able to step back and move around right there okay next one he's gonna throw another shot here let's see how he does this he throws a left straight and then again all his weight he took all of his weight away from his front leg and then he planted his rear foot here he was able to shift his weight pretty quickly very rapid weight shifting just like how Lomachenko does it and that's the reason why you barely see these fighters get off balance even though they commit to their shots even though sometimes they throw their shots wildly you'll never see them off balance because they have a lot of footwork techniques in order to save from the or in order to save themselves from being off balance so now let's look at how he pivots most of the time very similar to Lomachenko like I said he's he pivots away when he is squared up he never pivots away if he's very close to his opponent so as you can see he's gonna take this right leg or this right foot he's gonna square up first and then he's gonna pivot away safely and again that enables you to create an angle while putting your head away from the center because a lot of people when they pivot they get caught on their way out okay so what he does here, he squares up first, male, look at his right leg, he squares up first, puts all the weight on that right leg, and then he pivots away safely without keeping his head on the center, okay? Next one here, he's gonna square up once again, and instead of pivoting while he is in his normal stand, in his, in his wide stance, he squares up first, takes that right leg over here on that side, and by doing that, he's able to pivot safely without getting caught on his way out. Here's the last clip here, once again, instead of pivoting away while he is in his normal stance, he's gonna pivot away when he is squared up and while he is moving laterally. So here's the first pivot, he pivots that way while he's squared up, here's another one. He's gonna pivot once again while he is squared up, look at his feet, and that enables him to create multiple angles for himself and take his head away from the center at the process of pivoting. So that was it for this video, very short film study on Akhmed Aliyev. He's very similar to Lomachenko in a lot of ways, so I don't want the techniques to be redundant because I've already done a video on Lomachenko before. So these are some new ones that I added, decide, that I decided to add, and hopefully you enjoyed it, okay? Join my Patreon if you want to, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace, man.